Hello, happy October, how is everyone doing? I'm going to start this video off by showing you the supplies I'm going to be using for this month's drawing challenge. Um, I'm not following a prompt list but I'll talk a little bit about that in a sec. I'm going to be using this A6 sketchbook, it's watercolour paper by Hannon, Hannon Mule? I'll link it down below anyway, I can't say it. And I've got these Micron Fine Liner pens in various sizes, as well as these Tombow brush pens. I've got one hard tip and one soft tip pen. I'm also going to be using these watercolour inks by Ecoline. I've got five colours, a pink, a blue, a dark blue, a purple and a yellowy ochre kind of colour. Okay, so as I just mentioned, I'm not going to use a prompt list as such this year, but I'm going to go with a sort of theme. And that theme is going to be potion ingredients. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I like painting animals and plants. So I thought this would be something that I would actually enjoy doing and be quite cohesive with the work I already do. Um, I'm starting off on this first page and it's basically a little test. I wanted to see how the pens took to this paper, if there was any bleeding or smudging, but it all seems fine. The title of this sketchbook is Basic Ingredients for Potions and Charms by me. <laughs> and my main inspiration behind it is the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them little handbook. I'll insert a picture of it and I'll link it down below because I absolutely loved this book when I was small. <laughs> I loved the little doodles in it and like the proper explanations of where to actually find these creatures and yeah. I wasn't like a massive massive Harry Potter fan when I was small but I really liked that book. <laughs> Another one of my inspirations is obviously Mini Smalls Inktober 2019, which was something along the lines of greenhouse essentials. So she drew um, different plants and tools to use in a greenhouse with like a magical twist on them, which I thought was really cute. Honestly, this theme is just an excuse for me to draw like toads and frogs and mushrooms because I just love drawing those things anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about a couple of my goals for this whole drawing challenge. And I think one of my main goals is to improve my calligraphy skills. And I know it's kind of random because uh, this is meant to be a drawing challenge, but I really want to work on my cursive writing and I absolutely love these brush pens and I want to um, get better at using them. So writing out little explanations behind each ingredient slash, you know, uh, plant or animal um, is really going to help me get used to these pens and I'll hopefully improve by the end of the month. <laughs> Also the satisfaction of actually finishing a sketchbook cover to cover is like the dream. <laughs> so I'm really hoping I can stick to this challenge but honestly I think I will because the this is a small sketchbook and it's something small and doodly I can do just in the evening if I'm watching something. It's just um, basically like a no pressure sketchbook and just something to relax and have fun with. I also like the challenge of having to write a little description by each ingredient. Um, I think that's going to really help my creativity. It's going to push me I think because I'm not a writer. I don't write anything. I struggle to even come up with like Instagram captions so <laughs> that's going to be um, a bit tough for me but I want to do it and I'm going to do it. <laughs> Regarding like uploading these videos and posting on Instagram, I don't think it's something I'm going to do every day um, just because filming while painting or drawing or writing is usually quite stressful for me anyway because I feel like somebody's watching and 
technically people are watching me so I think I'm just gonna do it maybe like weekly I'll give like a weekly update and post a couple of my drawings or post a video of me doing a couple of pages and then hopefully at the end of the month I will have a finished sketchbook and just do one video of like a sketchbook tour and maybe talking through it a bit it's raining a lot right now so I am sorry if you can hear the rain rattling down on my windows I tried to record this in between showers but that didn't work out obviously For day one I am drawing a common toad, I'm using Micron fine liners for the outline and then the coloured inks for the, the colour. <laughs> and for day two is a garden snail which I'm doing the same, Micron fine liners and coloured inks for the colour. Oh my gosh what am I even saying? <laughs> For the little descriptions I am using the hard tip brush pen and for the titles I'm using the soft tip brush pen. Right, I hope you like this video. I'm going to leave it here now because I have run out of things to say. <laughs> I will see you next week for another video, maybe another Inktober video. Well, can I even call it Inktober anymore? I don't even know. What am I calling this? Uh, Sarah's no, I, uh, I don't know. I'll just call it drawing challenge that happens to be in ink without a prompt list. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you next week for another video like this. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, damn me.